northeast and consider the commercial buildings damaged along the busy streets here. Name three impacts that damaged commercial buildings and their associated businesses could have on a community from a tornado. So for example, if houses need to be reconstructed and the main lumber yard is damaged, that could affect the reconstruction efforts. Move northeast to the point labeled Alberta Elementary. Describe the damage at the school based on the satellite image. Read the account and watch the video from the Alberta School Principal in the following blog and answer the question that follows. Here is the blog. Here is the principal and the video. Beyond structural damage, injuries, and fatalities, name three other impacts that are caused by a tornado. Based your it results, your answer, on what you observed on the school's website, the video that you watched of the Alberta Elementary School principal, and considering community impacts. Right? Damage from natural hazards like tornadoes extend far beyond the physical damage. They disrupt people's lives, the life of the community. Zoom out and find the temporary home of Alberta Elementary School. How far is it from the permanent home of Alberta? Indicate the units you are using. Compare the post-tornado imagery to the Big Maps aerial image. It looks to me that the Alberta Elementary School damage has been repaired by the time the Big Maps aerial was flown. You do some investigation and see if you agree. Consider the types of buildings that you have examined in this lesson. Also consider the images on this page, before and after pictures of the tornado damage in the south, specifically Tuscaloosa, on this page. Here's Alberta Elementary School that we were looking at, and there's a oblique view. Mm -hmm.